Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And a couple of weeks ago, I posted these squiggles, and there's four pages of them, and they're pretty cool. It would take you a little while to draw that, and they're some of them are really cool. And I had a plasma cutter have trouble with this particular one right here, and we kept going back and forth, and I finally figured it up. He was. Uh, having problems with it and here's the problem so I've got it shared under squiggle so if you go to Corel file share files and the file come up then squiggles are right there so we're going to take this one and find out and well I've already done it I did it the other day for him to find out what the problem is and I'm going to draw a box around my squiggle I'm going to put it to the back of the page you could go arrange order and back a page I have back a page in a hot key because that way now you can click on your squiggle without getting your other part so we're going to go right up here to the top right left click on no fill right click on hairline because I like hairline and you can see the problem there's double lines there's incomplete lines and these double lines would cause you a lot of problems if you're going to cut out a laser you're going to end up with a bunch of little pieces so take your virtual segment delete key and just delete those lines delete all the lines you can before we have to fix those other ones and there's quite a few but it doesn't take very long especially if you zoom around just getting all the you're basically you're Opening an intersection is the way I kind of like to think about it for cars to run through. Just a few more and then we'll fix those other ones or repair those other ones. I think we've got all the ones fixed or cut. Now these that are incomplete, you need to grab your item and go up to a range and break it apart. Go to group and ungroup. Then you can use your shape tool to select these nodes and just bring them across the highway basically and then take your virtual segment delete key and open the gate up now if you're if you can see this on your monitor the nodes aren't very clean they're not put together very well and that could cause a leak we got one more little intersection to do here and i think we've got it now we're going to use the smart fill tool and this is why i created the rectangle because if i had a leak it would leak and not leak outside the page and, and make my old computer crash so let's back up here because we got one more we did not repair virtual segment delete key and it's right up here i'm going to zoom in just delete all these lines and then keep keep in mind what I said about the nodes aren't very clean. Now we'll take our smart fill tool, go to a thicker part and fill it in. We didn't have any leaks. Move your smart fill away and let's left click, right click, and now look how clean the nodes are. They're completely filled in. Now, this would cut out perfectly. It's a little rough. It's a little jagged. There's a lot of nodes. So we could do a number of things. Let's try this first. Select all the nodes and go right up here and put in 20. That's too many. It collapsed some of our nodes. It collapsed some of our highways. Let's put in 10. Little better. That could be worked with. Uh, it, it changed the shape of our item. So in this particular case, that isn't going to work. If you have Corel X8 or above, you have the smoothing tool and the smoothing tool is worth the price of emission it's one of the neatest tools that Corel has added in a while uh, doesn't really change the shape you can change the shape of it if you go too fast you know I've got mine set on 76 and that's just a basically a random number but then if you okay if you do not have that and you're got a X7 or below, just take your shape tool and just lasso some of these and delete them. Delete some of these nodes. You'll get some of the roughness out. And that's 
that's definitely doable because I've, I've done it a hundred times. And I just saw we missed a line right here. That would have cut out. Even though it looked like it was in the Smart Fill tool, it would have still um, cut out. So you need to kind of double check your work. And see how the nodes are rough. Just kind of visually look over the whole thing. Smart fill it again. Move your smart fill down. And then you could left click, right click if you're going to cut it or engrave it. Uh, smoothing would be a lot. Um, make it make your engraving look a lot better and it would make your cut look a lot better. So that's how to repair those squiggles if you're ever going to use them. And there's, like I said, there's four pages of them. And that one right there, I've never even noticed, that would be a really good detail to add to anybody's artwork. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.